Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Something a little bit different today. I'm here with Sam um, and we're going to be doing a photo shoot inspired by the amazing Wes Anderson. So Wes Anderson, for those that don't know, is the creative force be behind films like The Grand Budapest Hotel, Darjeeling Limited, Isle of Dogs, The Fantastic Mr Fox. We could go on and on, um, but both me and Sam are huge fans of Wes, so we thought we'd do some portraits today inspired by Wes Anderson. We've got a few different locations. Sam's picked some amazing outfits and at the end of this video, there's gonna be a link to Sam's video where he talks about his outfit choices for today, along with a link to his channel. Make sure that you go and subscribe and his Instagram, which is amazing, will be down below as well. So we're here at Sheffield Botanical Gardens first. So let's get going. So Wes Anderson is known for his unique style. You just know automatically when you're watching one of his films. He uses limited colour palettes, he uses symmetrical compositions, almost exclusively front profile shots of his characters. And he's got a huge love of vintage aesthetics, shying away from modern clothing, modern architecture and art direction. So I tried to use this to inspire the location choices and then once they were chosen, positioning Sam within them. Now, Sheffield Botanical Gardens have this wonderful glass pavilion and it was the first place that I thought of when I thought about doing this photo series. It just screams Wes Anderson to me. And especially when framing Sam here centrally, with the pavilions behind him, with that distance serving, to highlight him whilst not detracting from the backdrop. Now with Coco Wonderland, which is linked in the description below, this was more about the use of colour, with the bold pink contrasting against the earthy tones of Sam's outfits, all tied together by the different blues, with the patterned floor giving a little bit more interest. Now, not only was this the most fun location to experiment with for both of us, but the hot chocolate that they serve there is absolutely unreal. So Sheffield's Lyceum Theatre was another place that instantly came to mind when thinking of locations. It's wonderfully aesthetic facade along with the symmetrical building itself. Again, it's just asking to be framed in that same way as the pavilion. Now, I've got to be honest, these are actually the images that I'm least happy with. I think that Sam nailed the outfit choice and it really goes well with the building, but I just couldn't really find any compositions that really excited me. But that's what happens in photography. Sometimes it really works out for you, sometimes it doesn't. And besides, it's all subjective anyway, so what works for me uh, might not work for somebody else and vice versa. So let me know down in the comments which is your favourite location and why. Now, our final location was somewhere very close to my heart, the Henderson's building, right in the heart of Sheffield city centre. Now, if you don't know what Henderson's relish is, I won't hold it against you, as long as you research it straight after this video. Now, this location was all about that orange, and I've got to say, Sam absolutely smashed this one out of the park with the outfit choice. Uh, again, make sure you check out his channel for how he came up with the outfits and why, but as you can see here, it just it both contrasts and ties in with the backdrop perfectly. And these are some of the images that I'm most happy with. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. And with me and Sam being such big fans of Wes Anderson, as I've already mentioned, it just seemed like the natural thing to do. Also as well, uh, I really like it when shoots come together like this. This whole thing was thought up, planned and shot over the space of just two days. So a huge thank you to Sam for all of his input and for just looking super cool while we were doing it all as well um thank you to coco wonderland for letting us uh, take some shots outside there as i mentioned they're linked down below as well also down below of course is sam's channel and his instagram and there's going to be a link to his video in just a moment make sure that you go and subscribe and follow him on instagram he's giving such amazing content all about slow fashion and buying british it's something that's inspired me i want to try and do more of that as well um this really really good content on this channel i cannot emphasize that enough uh, also on my instagram there's going to be lots more images uh, including some that you've seen and some that you haven't seen from this shoot that i'll be posting over sort of the next couple of weeks so make sure you keep an eye out for that i do also want to do a few more of these style photo shoots where we take something or someone as inspiration um whether that be film music um, a book anything at all and whether that's with or without models but just taking a theme and an idea and then planning a shoot around it. I do find that it kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone and makes me sort of think about things in a different kind of way. 
as I've already mentioned, let me know down in the comments which was your favourite location, which was your favourite outfit. As I said already, there's going to be a link to Sam's video all about how he picked the outfits, pieced them together and matched them to each location. Other than that, I've got lots of content coming up. I'm uh, filming another two videos next week, so they should be coming over the next couple of weeks. And other than that, like, subscribe, do all the things that everybody asks you to do. Everybody asks you to do it because it does take two minutes, doesn't cost anything, and it does make a massive difference. Other than that, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.